Now my supporters don't have hard hats, but I love you guys anyway. Thanks a lot, Chad and Don, for that wonderful introduction. And I want to thank you, Chairman Colon, for this absolutely wonderful convention. You know, I want to thank each and every one of you for the dedication and commitment that you all have, not only to just the Democratic Party, but to the ideals that we all believe in and why we're here. Muchísimas gracias para cada persona que cree en los ideas y los opiniones del Partido Democrático. What a time this is for New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen. All of us get to elect Tom Udall, a new president. We get to replace Heather Wilson and get a great new representative for District 3. But for the first time in a long time, all of us in the second district, right here in the middle, it's nice to be in the center for once, guys, we get to elect a new Democratic representative from the second congressional district. In the past, southern New Mexico, our home, was ceded as Republican territory where a Democrat could not win. But you and I, we know better. Their time is done. It's over. This is our time. It is our time to make sure that no one in this nation is ever scared to go and see a doctor because they don't have health care insurance. It is our time, with gas prices soaring to record levels every day, to unleash the power of New Mexico's solar, wind, and geothermal resources to make sure that we have new jobs and we cut down on global warming. It is our time to develop the economy in every community so that young people don't face the choice of having to live in their homes and work for minimum wage or having to move away from the state that we all love so much. It is our time to protect our environment so that young people and our grandchildren can experience the wonders of it, both in our state and our nation as a whole. It is our time to pick, fix the public schools. We got any teachers out there? All right. Y'all have been expected to be bureaucrats for too long. You need to get back to teaching, and our kids need to get back to being excited about learning. It is our time to make sure that our senior citizens are protected by allowing the federal government to negotiate drug prices and by making sure that Social Security and Medicare stay solvent. It is our time to end the war in Iraq so that our young men and women, our young men and women, just like Chad, can come back to their homes and families so we can start spending that $12 billion every month here at home on roads and bridges, on education, on health care, and by making sure that our veterans have the services that they have earned and that they have been promised. I want you to cheer for this one. Is it our time to take back this nation? Now you've heard us all speak before. You've talked with us on the phone, read our literature, checked out our websites. You've checked under our hoods and kicked our tires. Why choose Bill McCamley, me, to help make these policies a reality? When I ran for Doniana County Commission at the age of 26, people said, you're too young. You can't do this. It's not your time. But I did win, and I became chairman right away. People said, you can't bring the county and cities together. It'll take too long a time. But I helped solve a decade-long legal battle between Doniana County and the city of Sunland Park in 42 days. People said, you can't bring health care providers together to keep clinics open longer and provide more services. But you know what? We did. People said, you can't create new jobs, fund education, or protect our environment. But you know what? We did that too. People said, you can't grow more hair. Thank you. And they were right. The time for my hair is long past. Does that get me another minute, sir? <laughs> So when I decided to run for Congress against Steve Pierce a year ago because I thought that he was wrong, people said that you're too young. This isn't your time. But you know what? I worked hard. I raised money. I visited every single county in this district, not once or twice, but five, ten, or twenty times. And then you know what? I scared Steve Pierce right out of the race. And many of you have heard that joke, not once or twice, but five, 10, or 20 times. 
I have spent the time with you, and I stand before you today as ready, as energetic, and as committed as ever to be your next congressman. Elections are about earning your support. And if you honor me with your vote today, you have someone who can bring energy and records back to the U.S. Congress. Someone who isn't afraid to rock the boat to make changes happen. Alguna persona que tiene la habilidad comunicarse con toda la gente en Nuevo Mexico. If you believe, like I do, that our time is now, I ask for your vote today, your commitment to bring change back to Washington, results to the people of New Mexico, and I thank you so much for this opportunity. This time